So I wanted to insert this at the beginning of this vlog just so things can make a little context. I, we made this vlog right before Hurricane Helene had come through and kind of wrecked all of Appalachia. So right at the very beginning of this, I want to say I want you to keep all of Appalachia in your thoughts and prayers. Kentucky fired out okay, but Tennessee and North Carolina are in extreme bad shape. I wish I knew a way I could help like I did during the flood here, but I'm all the way in Kentucky. I don't know how. I am trying to figure out a way that we could possibly be able to help the people down there. I got a couple friends that used to live here was born and raised here with me that are down there and trying to help and I'm trying to figure out how I can facilitate helping them a little bit from here. Things has been wild here where we live guys not just from the hurricane but I know y'all have probably heard about the fatal shooting of our judge from our sheriff and there have been a lot of people ask me to weigh in on that whole situation and all I'm going to say is bad things are happening to people that say anything about this it always has and i know everybody's picking sides right now and just knowing what i know as somebody that's lived here their whole lives there's no good guy in this story there's no good side it's it boils down to deep-seated corruption that's been here for longer than I've been alive. I don't want to get too much into that right now. Let's wait for everything to come out and be brought to the surface and then I'll address it. Right now it's just a bad situation. It just seems like the whole world is falling apart right now, at least the East Coast anyway. But guys we love y'all i hope you enjoy this video we have some more coming it's just been weird we went like us we went three days without power now that's granted not a big deal we made it through we had the generators had the propane grills so we was able to cook the kids didn't miss a beat we spent time together that's what we do like anymore like I've said it a million times, I'm tired and I'm just a fulfilled day to me is spending some time with my tribe, my people. What a time to be alive. But guys, I love y'all and I hope you enjoy this vlog. Leave it to me at the crack of dawn. Out here saving turtles. How have y'all been? Hope everybody is good. We're getting the day started a little bit later today. It's it's 8.45. Chloe had to get up and pee at three o'clock last night and woke me up and then she decided she needed water and um, she needed her stuffy kit and then she wanted to talk. So we didn't go back to bed till five. <laughs> And I woke up a little late this morning, but yeah, so we, we run in a little late this morning. That's okay though. But I kind of wanted to recap last week with you guys a little bit. I know Sean kind of went over things. Zoe had to go in for emergency surgery with her eye, had to take Colton to the doctor. He had speech therapy and I had a family member pass away. All of a sudden, that is the fourth family member we have lost since January. 
my dad, his sister, his brother, and my mom's baby sister. Happy Monday, you guys. I know most of y'all are like, Megan, it's Monday. I know, sometimes it can be the Mondayest Monday ever. Today is a good Monday for us. We had a good day of school. The weather is 72. It is perfect. <clears throat> Since we are um, trapped Help. from getting out in our yard because of the yellow jackets, Papa. still dealing with no, them. That's for the park. Uh, we're going to the park. So everybody's got their. Show your lunch. Well, it's a little bit of it. Cece got yours? Yeah. Yeah. So anyhow, Mama packed them a little lunch and we're going to head to the park. We're going to pick Granny up. We're going to try the parks because they are also eat up with yellow jackets. So we're going to try our best. I also wanted to apologize to you guys about the quality of the last video. We tried a new camera. It will be amazing outside because of the type of lens that it has. Inside, we realized not so great. So we're back to our regular camera or the big, big camera inside now outside that little camera will be phenomenal i do believe because of it i mean it catches everything it's wide lens fish lens i'm not sure it's one or the other but anyhow <laughs> you need a ride <laughs> well maybe <laughs> if, you let, if you let old ladies ride hi bubba <laughs> love you hi Cece. Look how beautiful the trees are starting to turn. Kids are already down there checking the water out. Up there's the playground. It's so beautiful though. First time I've been to the, this lake this summer. This one is about 15 to 20 minutes from our house. <laughs> bite, there's fish in there that'll bite. They got They'll what nibble is, on your toes. A pink leaf. A, it's a red one, yeah. I know it's so pretty if we come down here in another two weeks you all I'll have to show you see how far nanny can throw her rock all right nanny let's see what you got watch Bubba ready see if Bubba watch granny Look at nanny. Chloe watch out okay. Whoa. oh mom that was pretty good <laughs> that was pretty good look you guys here comes the waves look I know <laughs> she's loving it Whoa, there's the waves. It didn't even splash. I see that. You need to sit down when you throw them, though. You got to be careful. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh, man. We just about had one in the water, y'all. Which, you know, I mean, it ain't going to hurt nothing. But still, I ain't got no dry clothes with me. So, that would be the problem. But she tossed that rock and it was a little heavy. Almost made her trip. I'm sitting here thinking about what I'm gonna do for dinner. And you know what? I think I'm gonna do sliders, maybe bacon and cheese, burger sliders. I got the little buns and maybe just some tater tots for this evening. Me and Sean's kind of trying to go more of the whole foods route. We are slowly trying to wean ourselves and our children off of all the snacks and the processed and it's going to be a process, but I, I think in time we'll get there. We're definitely doing better every week than what we used to. So there's hope. Looking for supper. <laughs> We're gonna fix it with some Cece, fried. catch us some fish. It's moving. We're gonna have fish and fried potatoes. And I got it. Hey, I got the fish. We'll pull it up, jerk it back, and reel it in. I got it. Wow. Get it, Bubby. Another, Cece got us a fish for dinner. Oh, I got two, Nanny. And I got a lot. Where mine? I don't I get a shoulder. Oh, right here. Right on the cheek. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Look, I got a lot of fish, fish, and fish. Love you. I don't know if it's actually gonna work or not. Y'all, I'm gonna actually attempt, and this might have been a bad idea, to try to get some work done outside today. We've been held hostage for the last two months inside our house because of yellow jackets. Eastern Kentucky, I know for sure, 
West Virginia and Virginia and Tennessee is having it pretty bad with these yellow jackets this year. You can't get nothing done. You can't walk out. The minute you start moving things, I don't know if it's the vibration or your breath or what, but these things come out. And my yard is looking like crap. And I'm not happy about it. For one, I gotta get this disaster cleared up. A lot of this got tossed because of a, a lawnmower and a Chloe and just not being able to, they're already swarming. I also gotta get this garden cleaned up. <laughs> My broken wheelbarrow. Need new handles or just a new wheelbarrow in general. Holy crap. I found one we missed. Where'd these come from? Look at this cucumber. Heck, here's another one. And you know what's wild about this cucumber plant? I didn't plant this. This one come up on its own. And it has provided us more big cucumbers than any plant. And like I said, I didn't do anything. It just come up. I think what I'm gonna do is bury these cucumbers somewhere and see what happens next year. Cause I think that's what happened was I dumped some dirt out from the cucumbers last year and they may have been a plant still in it or maybe some seed. And I mean, this thing is still, look at this. It's still making cucumbers. But of course you can't eat these cause this, especially this one will be so bitter. Now, the last couple years I've been doing tests with our garden just to see what works up here because the thing with this place, I mean, y'all see right now, it is, uh, hold on, I'll tell you exactly. It's 143 and you see there's no sun back here. That doesn't do really good for the tomatoes. The bags work. You know, I had done it in a previous video, the reason we use the bags is because we've got so many crawdads in the ground back here. My whole logic behind it was, at least there's a couple more we missed. This will, these bags will keep the crawdads out of the, the garden. And it works well, it works really well. But like I said, I had an issue with sunlight here. So next year, I think I'm gonna use the bags for my tomatoes and cucumbers again, but I think I'm gonna put them in a spot that gets a lot more sunlight. I've been doing some tests to see what works best up here because I was told they've had issues in the past trying to raise a garden up in here. Now this manure and dirt, I'm just gonna dump it over there, put these bags up for next year. I'll till all this manure and dirt and stuff right in the ground over there. But I think that's my plan. I think that's what I'm gonna do because I had some fairly good luck. I still got some peppers growing here. Plenty of jalapeno. Now here's my strawberries. They've uh, they've overgrown. It's okay. Cause what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get all these weeds out of this and then I'm gonna cut these uh, strawberries down to their crown. And then when we blow the leaves off, I'm gonna just pile this up real high with leaves until the spring comes and that'll protect all my strawberry plants. I'm about to pull one up there. I'm sorry, bud, get back down in that soil. And I wish I would have done my strawberries different the first year. I wish I would have went ahead and put them into the ground instead of trying to do my strawberries in the bucket. That way they would have spread better. Strawberries are, are finicky. And I've seen some people mixing other plants with them and I'm gonna see what these plants are and see what I can get planted in here. It's like a biodiverse ecosystem where they kind of take care of each other. Figured I'd do something like that to at least one. They're spreading all the way up to here though and that's, that's a good thing. All kinds of new plants going all the way up this hillside. And seeing my peppers are still producing pretty good, I'm gonna move them over here for a little bit. That way they get them a little extra sun. Now I'm gonna put all these bags up till next year.
I know y'all heard that. Jeer. I hope you heard that. Off on another topic the other night, I heard something like that on the porch, but it was yellow jackets. It was uh, a deer walking, but I shined my flashlight up there. The eye shine on that hillside. Oh boy, they was 40 sets of eyes looking down in this yard, all on that hillside. The squirrels make noises like that, but with what happens in this area, on this mountain, Jerry, we gotta get at these, bud. Oh yeah, distraction. I'm gonna, I, I got an idea what I'm gonna do with these next year. So I'm gonna put them up in storage. I'm gonna dress them back out next year. But these bags are swarmed with yellow jackets. Oh, and you ain't been able to get outside and do anything. But I got a mess over here to clean up. Shine bring me a pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Oh, ah, salamanders scared me to death. You better get out of there, little buddy. About to get noisy through here. I sure am glad that's done. Now I gotta clean up all this. And little mama done that, that wasn't me. These really don't take up no storage space once you actually get to it. Bin, 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 bin. Y'all, I got a secret to tell. I always get the comment anytime we do a video out in the yard, everybody's like, man, your grass is so green no matter what time of year it is. No, it ain't. I really ain't even got any grass. Y'all, every bit of this is moss. This is literally moss. I don't have any grass. I spent a fortune trying to fight this stuff and I couldn't get it to go away. It just kept coming back and more and more. But it's pretty, it's soft. It stays green, so I just gave up fighting it, and I just started embracing it, throw little nutrients out that it likes, and uh, I help its spore spread, and hopefully before long, it's took over the whole backyard, which it has. I mean, but you can see, that ain't nothing but moss. Every bit of my yard is moss. This whole yard right through here, this ain't nothing but moss. I mean, look, we come through here, see? Look. It's just moss. Let's walk back over here. And look here by the kids' play set. And it's moss. And all back here, all the way to the back, it's moss. Yeah, bees. It just comes from where it don't get much sunlight up in here. And when it does come in, it don't come in a lot. Like I said, I think this backyard gets a total of maybe four, four and a half, five hours max sunlight like the grass that will come up it ain't enough to even matter i reseeded this yard i treated it with everything to get rid of this moss they wouldn't know touching it i i dethatched the whole yard tried to get it all up and all i done seems like i made it grow fuller which that's fine because like i got a green yard year round i mean any amount of water rain snow whatever when it melts off it just turns green again because it comes, I mean. So I ain't gonna complain, I ain't gonna fight it no more. I'm just gonna embrace it. Yeah, we gotta pop the sun in around, yeah. 